This video is for all the new designers who are coming to Squarespace to build websites and or clients who are working with an agency or a company or a freelancer and they're looking at using Squarespace for their site. We just got to be very clear right here from the beginning that a lot of the features you see on the Squarespace homepage, especially this brand new homepage is beautiful. It's gorgeous are not available natively in Squarespace and honestly would be quite complex to integrate into your site. So I'm just going to show you a few things that just are beautiful, but not native in Squarespace and actually quite complex in Squarespace uh, because you have to go against the template. So let's begin. So the first thing is this. Let me refresh the page. First of all, you saw how it like loaded in and then this is a video here. Like this is playing through. This is a hundred percent custom the way this is working and set up. But this is really, really well done obviously but not very possible in Squarespace and then let's do this one more time and refresh and then go back in look at that that is not native in the setup so when you come down here you see how that loaded versus this it loaded differently this kind of came in from the side uh, which is one of Squarespace's brand motion elements you'll see them use that in a lot of different places and this faded in so this is like a video playing here you could see there's this little play button they don't offer this natively in a Squarespace site you can make this work but it will not look this good just out of the box okay and then here again they do this you can't do this what they just did right there did you see that like you have to watch it a little bit slow it's beautiful it's beautiful i'll say it a hundred times but you'll see that it just adds the logo adds the button obviously they're selling the website but you can't do this like natively in in the template okay so let me refresh it so that text pops in and then the logo pops in and the button pops in and then the text stays sticky as you scroll then it goes behind the website and you'll see here it's sticky with the back end of the the page and then it disappears behind the website which is gorgeous again it's beautiful this whole feature not native in Squarespace they do have a possibility like this where you hover over a word like local business and it changes the image but it doesn't look like this specifically it fills up the entire back end of the screen um, and then you hover over it so it's a different type of feature that they have but as you scroll through these you'll see here the different options they have okay so the next section here this is beautiful this is really well laid out one thing that i know uh again not native in squarespace is they're using this type of setup where the image the text goes to the top here and then this is forced to the bottom so it aligns here at the bottom so if i were to change the size of this browser you see the text doesn't really let me put it back more put it in screen you see that the text stays in alignment like that again there's no native way to force text down to the bottom corner like this you could put a spacer in between text but it would not format so beautifully across so many different screen sizes all right so following you got this photo pops in you could probably do that in squarespace natively but this right here look okay so the text fades in it slides in and then when it slides in when it centers it stays stuck right there so it doesn't slide anymore so it goes to the center and then boom it just stays stays there also the way the text overlaps this image and this section is not native in squarespace you'd have to figure out a way to customize this you can possibly have one section with a background image like this then you got to consider mobile so it gets quite complicated quickly but this whole text on two sections here they don't do that natively and then you scroll in this would this be possible this could be possible text align here yeah that's possible i don't know if this would align to the bottom here this setup is possible where you have like an image here and then this and then here again this aligns to the bottom it just doesn't happen natively there might be one way to do it but it doesn't happen natively all right so after this again text showing up and then this image is scrolling so it's sticky again it's not native you would have to customize that and then this shows up cool and then this uh, separate image is coming up. Yeah, totally not native. That is not possible in Squarespace without custom code. Modern solutions, cool. Okay, so a few posts here. This is not native. This whole like one, two, three. This is definitely not native in Squarespace. This is definitely not native in Squarespace. I think even if you call this like an animated GIF or something, um, I don't know if it's built in with the code just off looking at it right now. 
Uh, this little arrow popping up isn't native. So they're selling you on the possibilities. Obviously, you could do a lot of great stuff here, but even this isn't native. Like you don't have um, drop down accordions like this. You have to customize it and add it with code. There's a ton of plugins out there that can do this, but it is not native within the template. So turn your ideas into reality. Awesome. Cool. Uh, and then some of these, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You'll see a this whatever that is talk it pulls on arrow doesn't do that natively you'd have to customize that we did that for our agency website because we like it and you'll see some of these have the arrow so opens up basically saying opening up in a new page so don't be discouraged by this but it just is a reality check so client if you're you're asking your developer like why are you not i, I would love something that looks like this or that has this play pause button or or does this feature um it is not your developer's fault it's just highly custom at that point to create elements like this uh for your site and this is again a website that is producing literally millions and millions of dollars each and every day so it's obvious why it's so developed but at the same time being realistic that this is not native in squarespace this is 100 percent customized uh, a customized experience for Squarespace's homepage, their marketing efforts. So let me tell you this, this is my favorite section when it says create a new website and the logo and the menu and the button pop in and then you hover over it. That looks really, really nice. I'm not sure why it's popping out a little bit right here, maybe because I adjusted the size, but yeah, I think this is gorgeous. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.